Number 24. Complete and balance the following oxidation reduction reactions, which give the highest possible oxidation state for the oxidized atoms. And then we have letter C. Uh, so in this case, we have tin, which is SN, right? That's a metal. It's a solid. Um, mixing with iodide, right? Iodide, it's I2. It's a diatomic, and that's a solid. So I'm just going to write this over here, right? I have SN tin, which is a solid, plus I2. Okay. Now this is an oxidation reduction reaction, but there's another name that we can use for this reaction, right? I have two compounds, or actually, no, I have two individual atoms. I have tin, SN, reacting with just iodine. So when that happens, right, I'm fusing the two atoms together and I'm going to form a compound. This is a synthesis reaction, right? Or uh, there's two words. You could say that it's a synthesis reaction or you could say this is a formation reaction, right? You're forming a compound from the two atoms, right? If I had this colored, um, if I had this as like, let's see, if I have this as green, right, and this as blue, what's going to happen is the green, which is right here, and the blue are going to be fusing together, right, as kind of like a concept, right? So we're making a compound from two individual atoms. Now let's figure out what this compound actually is. Well, now this comes from the oxidation states. We need to figure out which one is going to be oxidized and which one is going to be reduced. Remember, the one that's oxidized is always the one that is losing electrons. It's always the one that looks like it's becoming more positive. So losing electrons, more positive, tomato, tomato. Reduction is the one that's gaining electrons. It looks like it will become more negative. So let's see. Tin, if it's by itself, right, is always a zero charge. Any atom by itself, if there's no charge in the upper right-hand corner, it's a zero. And the same thing for all of your diatomics. I is also a zero charge. So all your diatomics, H2, N2, would all start off as being a zero. But now let's go to the chart and use our trend to find out what the oxidation states would be if tin and iodine hooked up as a compound. Well, here's iodine all the way down here. Iodine would want to be a negative one charge. And tin, being over here, can either be a couple of things. It could be a plus four, or it could be a negative four based on this chart, right? However, tin is a metal, right? And metals generally want to be the what charge, right? If iodine is the non-metal and iodine is going to be the negative one charge, the tin has to be the positive, right? Remember, any compound, you can't have two positives coming together, and you can't have two negatives. You got to have one positive and one negative. So if iodine is going to be the negative one charge, the tin has to be the plus four. Okay. Now, the whole thing here with this question was that we need to have the highest possible oxidation state. Just on a side note, you know, tin can either be two positive charges. It could be a plus two, which is not the trend, or it could be a plus four. That is the trend. Let me put SN. Okay. So the, the trend shows as tin being a plus four, but just know that tin can also exist as a plus two. This is higher. The trend is higher than the other charge, which means that we're also going to be using this one. So now I have my two um, ions, right? I have tin, SN, being a plus four and iodine being a negative one. I use these charges because I'm making a compound. And now let's see what I get. This four tells me that I need four iodines. This one tells me that I only need one tin. So my compound would be SNI4. 
Now, solubility on this compound, right? Remember, halides, maybe I'll put that over here, halides, that's your group 17 or 7A, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, or iodine, nobody really cares about AT, right? But halides in general are usually aqueous compounds, except when grouped with three atoms. When it's grouped with PB, when it's grouped with mercury, and when it's grouped with silver. Tin is not one of these exceptions. So these exceptions tell me that that compound would be a solid. But if there's no exception, it will be aqueous. So this compound would be aqueous. Cool. Now let's just balance, right? I have four iodines on my product side. I got two iodines here. So it seems like I got to put a coefficient in front. What times two will get me four? Yeah, two, right? So I put a two here. And now let's just check. I got one uh, tin on the reactant side. I got one tin on the product side. So that's all balanced. So this is the end result, right? And if I wanted to update this little picture, you know, I would have a four of these blue guys now, right? Because we have four um, iodines for every one tin. And, well, we made like a little, made like a little flower. That actually looks beautiful. I'm an artist. <laughs> okay, but yeah, so this would be like the updated one, right? And you would need two of these. So technically, you know, if we're just drawing out, right? I have two of these because it's I2, right? I2. So I have to have an I and an I, right? But I have to have two of them. So if I just maybe circle these and I just do that, there you go. So that's the whole breakdown. One of these plus two I2s, that's a total of four blue squares. Oh, oh boy. What just happened? There we go. We got it back. Will give me this. And that's it. But this is more important. I just wanted to show you the visual representation. Okay. So guys, what do you think? Hopefully this helped. If it did, click the like button. You know, subscribe to the channel if you want. That would help us out greatly. And thank you so much for that. Um, but if not, that's okay. All right. Maybe I'll get you on the next one. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Keep studying hard. I hope chem is, is maybe getting a little fun. I know that's a lot. I shouldn't use that word with, with chem, right? Chem does not equal fun. To me, it kind of does, but uh, we'll see. We'll see, okay? I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.